Hi, Mr. Twentyman here again, and today we're going to do theory number four. All right, so the first theory we did treble clefs and bass clefs. Second theory we did the uh, notes in the right hand or the treble clef, and last time we did bass clef notes. This time we're going to do a little bit of uh, all the different markings that we have in music. So this is what we're going to try and learn today. So we're going to remember that. Well, you might want to get a pen and a paper and, and write this down as I do it. It's kind of fun to do. So we have five lines. This is called the staff. Five lines and four spaces. Okay. And for this one, we're going to draw a treble clef like that. Everybody draw a treble clef. Got it. Then we're going to draw a bass clef. Remember, we got that. Then we're going to draw, let's draw a whole note, a half note, and a quarter note. Okay? So there we go. The treble clef, the bass clef, a half note, a whole note, a half note, and a quarter note. All right, so here are some signs that we use when we're writing music. First one we're gonna do is sometimes you'll see this over the note. It's a long line like that. It's called a slur, S-L-U-R, and it means smoothly, okay? So the long line we're going over is called a slur. The next one we're gonna do is a little sign like this. It's called an accent. And this means that you play this note a little bit louder than all the other notes. So it would go dum, 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 like that. So it's a little bit louder. The next thing, we're going to do a bar line. This is called a bar line. Then we, when we draw another bar line like that, in between the two bar lines, it's called a measure. A measure. So, we have a treble, a bass, a whole, half, a quarter, a slur, that means smoothly, an accent, which means play a little bit louder. We have a bar line like that, two bar lines, and in between the two bar lines is a measure. At the end of the music, we have a double bar line like that. And it's that is the the end it's kind of the, that, that one's a little bit thicker like that okay now if they want you to repeat the music we put two dots like that and then you repeat everything from the beginning all right so let's review we have a treble a bass whole note half note quarter note a slur means smoothly an accent that means uh, a little bit louder we have a bar line in between the two bar lines it's called a measure and at the end of the music we have a double bar line and that means the end there's also two more signs that we need to go there's this sign here which is called a crescendo which means gradually louder and then if we have one going the other way it's a decrescendo which means gradually softer all right, so let's erase these and write down what we remember, what we know, okay? I'll try not to make this too long. So, here we go. See if you can remember. The long line is called a slur, and it means smoothly. This is called a bar line. In between the two bar lines, it's called a measure. If we have a double bar line like that, it is called the end. If I put two dots, it means repeat. We had the notes, a whole note, a half note, and a quarter note. If I put this little sign over like that, it's called an accent, so you play it a little bit louder. This sign means gradually louder, and this sign means gradually softer. All right, so 
But one more time, this time you do it. I'm gonna mention it and then you write it down, okay? See if you can do this, all right? So I'd like you to draw me a whole note. Do you remember? A whole note. I'd like you to draw me a quarter note. Got it? Everybody got it? Come on, Husway, you can get it. And now draw me a half note. Can you do it? There you go. All right. Who can draw a slur, which means smoothly? Does everybody remember? A slur, looks like that. Uh, now draw me the staff. Five lines, four spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Now draw me a treble clef. Then let's draw me two bar lines. One, two. Draw me a double bar line at the end. Nice. Draw me the repeat sign. Remember the two dots? It means repeat. Now draw the sign for gradually louder. Let's draw it here. Gradually louder. And now draw the sign for gradually softer. Okay, and then the last one. If I draw a note and I want to make that note stand out, what do I draw? What's it called? An accent. Can you draw an accent? So it would look like that. All right. So next video, we will add more to that and um, try and practice it a little bit. See what you can remember. Because next year when we're back at school, and if you're going to be in band, this is all the stuff that you'll need to know. Okay? Bye, everybody.